In the biblical account of the burning bush, we find Moses at a crucial moment in his life, encountering God in a profoundly significant and transformative way. This episode is detailed in chapter 3 of the book of Exodus, in the Judeo-Christian tradition, and has been interpreted in various ways over the centuries, not only as a miraculous event but also as a turning point in Moses' life and in the history of the people of Israel. The story begins when Moses, who had fled Egypt after killing an Egyptian who was mistreating a Hebrew, finds himself in Midian. There, he had established himself as a shepherd for his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. One day, while tending the flock near Mount Horeb, known as the Mountain of God, Moses observes an astonishing phenomenon, a bush that was burning with fire but was not consumed. Intrigued by this inexplicable occurrence, he decides to approach to investigate further what is happening. At this moment, the voice of God calls to Moses from within the bush. Moses, Moses. And he responds, here I am. God then instructs him to remove his sandals, for the place where he is standing is holy ground. Through this interaction, a sacred space is established, marking the place as a site of divine revelation. God introduces himself as the God of his ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, establishing a continuity of his presence and promises through the generations. God reveals his plan to Moses. He has seen the oppression of his people in Egypt and has heard their cries. Therefore, he has decided to deliver them from slavery and bring them to a promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey, the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. Here, Moses receives his divine commission. He must return to Egypt and lead the people of Israel out of slavery. God assures him that he will be with him, and that this miraculous encounter will be the sign that he has been sent by the God of Israel. Moses, however, doubts his ability to carry out this mission. He questions why he should be the one to undertake this task, and how he will convince the people of Israel and Pharaoh that God has sent him. In response, God reveals his name, I am who I am. This name, full of mystery and power, symbolizes God's eternity, self-existence, and immutable faithfulness. To aid Moses in his mission, God provides miraculous signs that he can show to prove the veracity of his calling. One of these signs includes the power to turn a staff into a serpent and back again, as well as the ability to make his hand leprous and then heal it. These signs are manifestations of God's power that Moses can use to demonstrate that his message comes from the Almighty. Finally, God anticipates Pharaoh's resistance and tells Moses that despite the miracles, Pharaoh will not allow the people to leave until God has displayed all his power over Egypt. This foreshadows the famous plagues of Egypt, which are a crucial part of the narrative of Israel's liberation. This encounter with the burning bush not only transforms Moses from a simple shepherd into a leader and liberator of the Hebrew people, but it also emphasizes the nature of a God who is personal, present, and committed to the liberation and well-being of his people. The bush that burns but is not consumed remains a powerful symbol of the divine presence that does not exhaust its resources nor abandon its creation, but engages in an active and sustaining way. Throughout history, the episode of the burning bush has captured the imagination of theologians, artists, and believers, serving as a rich source of symbolism and teaching. The bush, a common plant in many deserts that would generally go unnoticed, is transformed in this story into a vehicle of divine revelation. This transformation highlights a profound truth, God can use the ordinary for the extraordinary, and nothing is too mundane to be the setting for a divine manifestation. Over the centuries, many have seen in the burning bush a symbol of the people of Israel, who though oppressed, were never consumed by adversity. Others have interpreted the flame as a representation of God's fiery but non-consuming spirit, a presence that purifies without destroying. 
In the Christian tradition, this story has also been seen as a prefiguration of Jesus Christ, who according to this interpretation, is like the bush that burns with the divinity of God but is not consumed by it, reflecting the hypostatic union of the human and divine natures in one person. This interpretation has been especially popular among the church fathers and later theologians, who have sought in the Old Testament types and shadows of the promised Messiah. Additionally, in liturgy and religious art, the image of the burning bush has been used to express themes of calling, revelation, and the holiness of God, with countless representations in iconography, stained glass, and paintings showing Moses barefoot before the bush, in an attitude of awe and reverence. The cultural impact of this story also extends beyond religious confines. For example, in science and philosophy, the phenomenon of the burning bush has been a subject of reflection as an example of how the seemingly impossible can invite deeper exploration of reality. Philosophers and scientists have used the image of the burning bush to discuss concepts such as paradox and miracle, and the story has inspired many discussions on the intersection of the natural and the supernatural. Thus, the episode of the burning bush continues to be a source of inspiration and wonder, a reminder that the divine often reveals itself in the most unexpected places and through the humblest means. Now let us pray together to reflect and seek understanding in the story of the burning bush, remembering how God revealed himself to Moses and calls each of us in our lives. Almighty Lord, who manifested yourself to Moses in the flame of the burning bush and spoke from the holy mountain, open our hearts and minds to recognize your presence in the ordinary and extraordinary moments of our lives. Help us to hear your voice with humility and obedience, ready to remove our sandals before the holiness of your call. Infuse us with Moses' courage to face our own missions, no matter how challenging they may seem, and strengthen us with your spirit to carry out your work in the world. May our lives, like the bush that burned but was not consumed, reflect the light of your unquenchable love and your transformative power. In the name of your beloved Son we pray, Amen. And so we come to the end of this presentation. Thank you for being part of this wonderful community, a space where we seek to share divine wisdom and reflections on faith. I send you a warm greeting and a big hug. Until next time, and may God bless you.